With opposition mounting over mode 4 or the movement of people in the Sri Lanka-Singapore Free Trade Agreement, the Institute of Policy Studies says Sri Lanka's national labor migration policy of 2008 has no formal and regulatory framework to govern immigration of workers. Now, the Institute adds that the current policy framework also lacks domestic regulation to determine and recognize the foreign training, skills and education of incoming workers. Bilesha Viraratna, a research fellow at the Institute of Policy Studies, says if Sri Lanka is to open its labour market to foreign workers, it is crucial to develop an authoritative framework that captures foreign credential evaluations beyond individual professional bodies. Currently, Sri Lanka does not have a framework to govern um, migrant workers coming into Sri Lanka. So this leads to a lot of problems, especially in terms of uh, evaluating their credentials or qualifications to work in Sri Lanka. I think that is one of the main uh, problems or main arguments that's put forward against uh, foreign workers coming into Sri Lanka. So um, first and foremost, Sri Lanka has to establish a mechanism to evaluate the credentials or the qualifications of these incoming uh, foreign workers so that the Sri Lankan workers who are competing with these incoming workers will be at ease knowing that they are competing with equally skilled workers or equally qualified workers.